Onward! Attack! All right, as I was saying, Gurnikora all over the place. All right, so let's see what Hold we can do here. Uh, we definitely got some good cards in there that we want to find. Um, this is our worst card. We don't want two of these. This is not bad against Gurnikora, but it still might be our worst card. So I think I'm gonna mulligan it. Okay, that's a decent play. So Gurnikora. Of course, we got you got two versions going around. You got the big one and the little one. Guess we'll see what we're up against. So I might want to do something funky here. I think if I play Kedwini Revenant... Oh, we've got two of those in the hand, by the way. That's not the best. I think this might actually be able to, like... Well, no. It gets drowned, actually. No, we start with Arbalist. I don't think we need to do anything to it. Alright, so he plays Arcuspore. We can kill that. Unfortunately, the he spawns the fruit in the back row. That's not great for us. We can use our tactical advantage here to boost up the Arbalist. Do I want to shoot now, or do I want to play something else and then shoot? I probably want to shoot now. Right? I mean, he can't... I don't think he's going to be able to remove a four. Maybe we maybe we play one of these now. It still gets drowned, so that's not the best. But maybe the second one survives. I mean, what else are we going to play here? Oh shit! Oh. I didn't want to do that. That was bad. But we didn't get punished there, so that's good at least. <laughs> Pretty poor sequencing there. You're supposed to shoot. I, I was even talking about it. It's alright. First game of the day. If these can... Uh, if these can hold their place, or even if we can get this one to stick, we might be able to put in a lot of work against his Thrive Dudes this round. Okay, there's the Drowner. That's fine. Now we make him have two Drowners. We play Revenant, and... Do we kill the Drowner? Yeah, we surely we kill the Drowner. We can always eat our uh, other Revenant here if we have to, but we won't necessarily have to. We'll have some options. Kill that. Kill that. Now all of his Thrive units are under a real threat. Hmm. Okay. I probably should have used Tactical Advantage right away to at least maybe delay his uh, riders coming out. As it is, that decision tree is way in the past. So this seems like a turn to set up the trebuchet. Set up trebuchet. This ping doesn't matter. Because it can only he's never gonna look, like play into it. So now we just eat our dude.
This is going decently well so far. He has another drowner. Damn. We still don't know yet whether he's big or little Gurnikora. I could play Vess to kill that? What am I going to want to remove later on? Like, not much, right? Maybe a Necker Warrior, for example, might show up. Um, the alternative to playing Vess is playing Neneki. You don't have to play. I necessarily wanna. I think we can play Vess right here, and it's okay. Grinnacore doesn't we'll play a ton of engines. Kill that. This is fine. We'll see if he has an answer for the Vess, for example. He eats the ripe fruit. So I can actually get away with playing the Tritum here and then maybe playing the, the Nineki. I think we can still... I think we can do okay this round. I don't think it's time to give up yet at all. So Tritum Infantry. Front row, back row, does it matter? I mean, I don't want to play the Neneki. I don't think he's going to remove the vest. I think we're going to get our zeal, and I want to use the Neneki on the Tritum. Therefore, I'm definitely going to play the Tritum. The question is, does it matter what row? Play it in the back. Awaiting your orders. any of our charges, at least not yet. After this, I can play the Neneki. can remove the vest with a cyclops if he wants to. It's not the end of the world if he does though. Okay, witchers come out. I mean, that's gonna be a hell of a Sabrina. But I think first we do this. Nasty wounds those, but you'll live. test things going on. Do I want to kill anything? No. No, I do not. Okay. And after this, we play a nasty Sabrina, and it's probably the last card we play this round. Ooh, baby. That is a full row, my friend. And I definitely want to play this arena now. You're tempted to lock the Margarita, but it's best to just, uh... I mean, he could block that row off. He will if he's smart. So, here we go. I do Vess of Egg. Mmm... 
kill Lambert. Flawless execution, you guys. Actually, I'm not sure if that showed up on the stream or not, but I got some sort of achievement for that, which is pretty cool. All right, take the round. Maybe overkill, but I mean, our big finisher was a six. Six provision card. Okay, I can probably mulligan this. Yeah, we've got plenty of good cards that we want to find. Is this going to be good? Yes. This will be good. This will be good. This will be good. This is... That's amazing. Yeah, let's keep this hand. It's an easy pass. Our hand quality is spectacular. You want to find Unicorn, Chironex, Rockfist, Botchling. I mean, he's got a pretty solid long round deck, but we've got we've got last say with Gaunter Odem. We've got strong cards in hand. This is a pretty solid place to be. Want to play Lyrian Cavalry? Is that better than Kedwini Sergeant? Probably is actually better than Kedwini Sergeant, especially given that we mulligan the Tritum. We got uh, three zeal targets in hand, that's great. Yeah, let's find a not a damn sorceress. But he's seen trebuchet, maybe we can kill a frag unit in the front. Once again our, our zeal targets are Gaunter, Seltkirk, Blaze. I guess we just open with Lyrian Cavalry in the back. For the last! Arcuspore comes down. I can remove that eventually. It's questionable whether or not I would want to. I can also Margarita that. I probably want to Margarita that, right? They don't usually play any like big gold engines or nasty little cards like Aquist. Usually. So usually, Arcuspore is a pretty good lock, so let's go ahead and take it. In the back? Sure. I hope we can trust you. That little interaction, that little interaction right there, why Margarita is a better lock in the Northern Realms deck than Dora Gary. Because you're always playing Lyrian Cavalry, right? There you go. <laughs> We're guaranteed to get at least two points on our damned sorceress. Feels pretty good. Oh, hey, we got a full one. Alright, he kills it. That's fine. We can start to set up some value over time, I think. He's got a lot of points. But we're not in the worst shape here. It's a it's gonna be a close one. If you insist. Oh my. Caldwell comes down. Definitely big monsters. I mean, he's gonna have a lot of points. Alright, so for now... For now, I just think we take our, our Sorceress value. 
mean, that's also a really good Vincent target. He may, he may have Spear Tip or something like that. Oh, should have flipped the uh, Botchling. All of our cards are damaging cards now. We definitely want to flip that botulin. A-S-A-P. Interesting. Flip the botulin. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could not... Hmm. This is a tough one. We can play Blaze. What if we play Blaze... Don't even bother sealing it. <laughs> I don't think he can answer. Well, he might have like Dora Gary or something like that, so I guess we should take it. Alternatively, we can just take the Vincent now. And we're running out of time, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. coax myself into a snafu there and paralyzed by indecision. We can gaunter the spirit of, you know, that's fine. So Alright, this seemed like a reasonable time to Salt Kirk, right? So we play Salt Kirk for is there any reason to play this instead? I don't think so. I think... Uh, yeah, let's... Let's sell her. These dogs have no honor! Okay, so we'll boost it to six. We can do five if I do this here. If I hit the Weavis. So that's worth 11, but that's worth 12. Might be in some trouble here. Alright. So I can I can gaunter that, but I don't have to. I can just play Blaze. Still afraid he might have a lock. I would feel really stupid if I used this and he turned out to have Dora Gary in hand or something like that. If I didn't use it, I should say. I think it's fine to just take it. Unfortunately, we are a number of points behind. No one insults get me going! Hey, how about that? Ha! <laughs> Do I? Yeah, let's remove the fruit. <laughs> how about that? Dragon full test. Off to a hot start. <laughs> I respect nothing human. Ethne. This might be tough. This can answer a sword master. 
So it's better than usual. I don't have anything in my hand right now that's going to buff this, so we can... Well, this can buff it, but that's not great. I gotta hurry up. Okay. So we're expecting Elf Swarm Scorch here. That's pretty much the only deck Ethne can play. Maybe with or without Shoop. And Red Coin this time, so that's good. More likely without Shoop than with. But I did play against a, a Shoop Ethne just, uh, just the other day. Starts off with a trap. Damn. What kind of trap? Fireball trap? Excuse me, incinerating trap. I mean, that's the most likely suspect, so what do I throw into it here? I still expect him to have Swordmaster. I don't necessarily need to use this to answer it, though. Okay, I'm gonna go with a read here. Okay. Good start. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Hmm. Yep, Ethne definitely wants to win the worst for the first round. She wants to tempo. To get my engine going. You can probably remove my engines. Actually, Ethne probably can. Peace with humans. I buy oh, this that. might be a tough one. Yeah! We might lose a. We might lose a lot of stuff. We might not wind up with last say. What is that card? Biting Frost. Actual Biting Frost. So this is gonna die. This is gonna die every single time. I can only buff it to two. I don't have Unicorn. I don't have Naneki. It's gonna die every single time. So we forget about it. I can play this in the front. Hope to start removing some of his elves, maybe. I want to get this down as soon as possible. A wee hint, Danny Jiggleless. Wow. Ping or no ping? Okay. <laughs> Pyro technician. This is some cheesy stuff we're coming up against. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. I'm gonna do 20 points in two cards. We might be kind of screwed here. It's too bad I don't have unicorn. I can gaunt her for 13. I mean, I guess we're not going to get a huge Gaunter in this game. I can play Blaze as well. I can do it. I definitely don't want Ethne to have a say here. I can Botchling. Wait, no. Botchling... 19. But we get a full test. So it's okay. I believe I have done this right here. Don't punish me if I've made some sort of mathematical error. Yulvis will guide us. Okay. That, on the other hand, probably... Probably is the nail in the coffin, unfortunately. Yeah, 
He's not out of Biting Frost yet. Or is he? No, he's got one more, I believe. Yeah, I don't think we can do this. Actually. I think we can, actually. I'm going to. Interesting. But what is that card? Is that uh, a crushing trap? Crushing trap doesn't play for much. I don't think I'm giving up here. I think, I think if he could have removed this, he would have removed it last turn. On the other hand, Ethne is pretty scary. I think I do this just in case. This too. Okay. That seems reasonable. Oh, a guest is a guest. Wow. Okay. So I need to do 17 here. And two cards. I can play this. Plays for six. Yeah, I can do this. I don't think it matters whether or not he has an elf on the board. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Technician again. First time I've ever seen this card in action. Interesting. So why didn't he kill the one that still has an ability? I'll feed you to the crows! Ah, oh, okay. So have we shortened the game enough for Ethne to be bad? He's playing Dragon's Dream. I mean, I can't overcome in one, but this might be the best Gaunter that I get. It's just not quite enough. And then I'd have to play Chironex as well. I mean, I can do that, I suppose. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm just really afraid of letting Ethne have control here. Oh man, one card. Yeah, I'm gonna spend Kyra next. You don't overkill him. out in our favor, or if it does not. And I know 
now he's playing Dragon's Dream, so I guess I'm pushing. Might lose my card. But I've got chunky short round plays in round three. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to push him here. I'm a monster. Even though I'm probably gonna lose my card. We'll see if I regret it or not. Painted ale. Wow, okay. He's already played Nevelin. So his Dragon's Dream at this point isn't going to do too much. What am I worried about? Like Scorch or something like that? I'll last say. Maybe we find a pass here? Do we win a five card round three? I mean, I think we do. I'm going to pass. I don't want to... I mean, we get two cards out of him, we shorten him around two by two cards. Be. We'll see if it's enough. He takes two extra things. Well, gotta draw into better cards than that. That's a start. Am I going to need to lock anything? This might keep one of these alive. I don't think I'm going to need to lock anything. Oh, wow. Not ideal. I'd really like to find, find the Naneki. Like the Naneki and the Trident or something like Early that. Only death amazing. here for Dwan. I guess I can kill that. Selker is probably fine. Gonna be worth at least five. Plus we don't want to get pitfall trapped, right? Sure. All in all, sure. Stand and fight, cowards! Taste of your own medicine. Okay, he's got two of them. It's fine. Maybe we play Kedwini Sergeant here, but we don't use its ability. Uh, I don't know. Like, what do we think he's gonna be playing? Dragon's Dream is expensive. He may not be running Scorch. He may be running something that punishes like a tall unit. Stand and fight. Maybe I take one of my buffs and call it good. Ragnarok. Wow. Okay. Play this. For less. Like this. Unfortunately, if he has Pitfall Trap, we might get. We might lose something good here. Well, not really, right? We just play this. Yeah, that's fine. 
He's already played his Yorvis. Might be a win. Yep. What's this I like? This I like! Nice. 